Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, in this video I'm going to show you how I retouch very old Canon 5D Mark II RAW files with the new Aurora HDR 2018 for Windows and Mac. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, my name is Sir Germany, I'm a French photographer from the beautiful city of Paris, France, living in Los Angeles, California. I make one or two tutorials per week. Now this week, I want to show you the new Aurora HDR 2018 that just came out for Windows. I'm using the Mac version, but it's out for Windows and it's the same version. And what I decided to do is to take some old Canon 5D CR2 RAW files from seven years ago and retouch it with this new technology. I love that when a new technology comes out to just try old RAW files and see what happens. Well, I love the result. So here is Aurora HDR 2018 Mac and Windows. All right, so one of the things that I did when the new version of Aurora HDR came out, the, the 2018, is that I revisited some old photography to see if I could get something out of it using this new technology. So for example, this is something that I shot on a Canon 5D Mark II back in 2011, seven years ago. Uh, no, um, actually, probably yeah, Nove uh, 14 November uh, 2011 at 628, 1828, right at sunset. It's an HDR shot of the my favorite stairs in Montmartre, and I wanted to redo this in Aurora HDR. So I'm going to select all three photos. I'm only using Lightroom as a sort of a platform. You can use it as a standalone. I'm going to go export. And I'm going to go to Aurora HDR 2018, open original image. What that's going to do is that it's going to launch a software. I'm going to make sure alignment is on and click create HDR. And that's going to launch what we call the tone mapping, where the software tries to get the best out of all the exposures. All right, so here I am. And uh, so I could go here and use the preset. You see here, when you click on that, you can go full screen this little thing, or you can use presets. And uh, right now I'm using the search remedy presets. There is some other presets, which you can see here. Uh, Captain Chemo, Dramatic, Trey Ratcliffe is coming up with preset. I can go to basic presets. In this case, for once, I'm not gonna use preset. I'm gonna click reset all here. So it's going to be completely fresh, and I'm just going to retouch it completely from the start, but I'm going to be using layers. That's the thing that's amazing about it. So uh, I want to warm up the photo, so I'm going to warm it up, add a little bit of magenta. Uh, I'm going to boost maybe a little bit the exposure. And the good thing is I'm working on three raw files at the same time. Okay, I'm going to bring down the highlights so we get some more details in the sky. I'm going to open up the shadows. Uh, like I usually do, uh, maybe not as much as, yeah, why not? Let's try Let's try the Lightroom flow. I'm going to put in shadows. I'm going to do my black and my white. And, you know, this I could do in Lightroom, but you will see there's a few things you can't do in Lightroom that you really need that software for. Uh, I'm going to add a bit of saturation. I'm going to add a bit of vibrance. And let's see what else I could do here. So HDR structure, I don't want to do uh, because I'm going to do that on a separate layer. Image uh, radiance, I'm going to do on a separate layer too. Anything that I think is going to be local is going to be on a separate layer. Polarizing filter, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. I think it's going to really bring it uh, more colors and more details. So let's see. And you can see the before and after by clicking here. Before, after, before after quite a change H, uh, the HDR I'm not going to do the glow I'm not going to do okay let's see what else we can do uh, color toning highlights shadows yeah I don't know maybe I'm going to add a bit of uh, warm in, a, in, in the highlights to make more emphasis on the sky and a little bit of blue in the shadows to have a little contrast maybe just a little tiny bit something like this okay Dodge and burn, I will do this at the end, and vignetting, yeah, maybe add a bit of vignetting. So that's like my basic retouching. Now comes the power. I'm going to click here, call add a new adjustment layer, and on this one, I'm going to go uh, crazy on the details. I want to get more details, but I don't want to get it everywhere. So I'm going to go to um, HDR structure, and I'm going to boost that and see what it gives me. 
I like what he does here on the, on, on the stairs. I don't like what he does on the bushes, in the sky. So maybe a little bit of that. Um, the uh, radiance and glow I will do on a, a different detail. HDR detail boost. I'm going to boost the large detail. And maybe a little bit the medium detail. I like that, but not everywhere. I just like it on the stairs, you know. And even it's a little too much. Okay, so that's good. So now I have a layer, and I did that on the layer. But you see here, I have a little brush. Okay, if I click on that brush, now I have a brush. And I can go here in size. I'm going to make this much bigger brush. And opacity 100, softness 100, that's good. And I'm just going to brush on the stairs. And you see, as I do that, it created a mask, okay? It created a mask. You see the mask here uh, is black everywhere. There's only a bit of white here. Black conceals white reveals. So it's only going to reveal this HDR look only on the stairs. But check it out. If I show you the before, before that layer and the after. Okay, so I'm going to keep on brushing. I, uh, I So I only want this to influence the foreground. I like the, the this Paris work to really come to life. But I don't want this on on, on, on the on the rest. So uh, let's see the before you see and the after. Very subtle but I'm only doing this sort of HDR look only on the bottom. I like that. Maybe it's a little strong so I'm gonna lower the opacity of that layer. I mean it's so well made you can just you know really tailor made your photo. Okay now I'm gonna go here I'm gonna go add a new adjustment layer and this time I'm going to go the opposite. I'm going to use the amazing glow. Uh, I'm going to add some glow. I'm going to add some radiance. I love the image radiance, the, what it does to the photo. And um, I'm, so it's kind of the opposite of details. You know, I'm making everything sort of glory. And I think I'm going to add a bit of saturation on this one. Not that much, but a little bit of saturation. A bit of exposure, yeah, a little bit of it. So I'm doing all that, but same thing. I still have the brush. Remember, I have the brush. Right now, our mask is black. I, I, I don't want this everywhere. I just want this here. So I'm going to paint here. I'm going to paint around the lamp, uh, at the bottom of the lamp, uh, and I'm just going to paint maybe just where the sun is, just a little bit of glow, just there. Okay. Let me show you. That's the before the glow. And that's after the glow. Okay, now I'm going to add one more layer. And this this kind of, this time it's going to be kind of like my final layer. I think the, the overall photo is, and I love to be able to you know do layers on layers on layers. I think on this one, I'm going to do a little HDR enhance on this final pass. Uh, a little bit, maybe lower a little bit again the, the highlights a little bit. Lower a little bit the overall exposure to get it like a more, you know, night look. Um, and on this one, I'm going to do some dodge and burn. So I'm going to click here, and that's a new option that it's in 2018. I'm going to click on start painting. And uh, I'm going to go and I'm going to take the size and boost the size of my brush. And I'm going to do some dodge and burn. I want to add some light here, just like if it was casting some light from the lamp. There you go. And maybe s around here, or just a little bit. I love how the dodge and burn is very subtle. It's not huge, but it's very subtle. And it's funny because this is like, the, I I've done this photo like two, three times to prepare the tutorial, and every time I come with a different result. And I really like it. All right, so once you're done with the done it bird, you have to click on done here. Voila. And uh, so the dodge and burn is done, and I want to show you the overall before and after. It's quite a change, quite a change. Uh, I think on this one I'm going to apply it and I always like to work in Lightroom so it's going to bring it back into Lightroom. Let's open up Lightroom now. Lightroom and I always like to do like a little last minute. I like to always add a bit of contrast in Lightroom. Maybe open up the shadows just a little tiny bit. You know just do a little bit of retouching there. I think I'm going to crop. Well first before cropping I'm going to go to Lightroom into the uh, Upright function, I'm going to click on Auto to make it straight. And maybe I'm going to crop all that graffiti that I really don't, don't like. 
you know, and just maybe go here, something like this, so that we are more on the lamp, or maybe rule of third, just be like this. I can try. And, uh, and voila, so that's the original photo. Let me show you in full screen mode. And I love the, I love the mood of it, you know. Uh, I need to go to Photoshop and clean up some of the, d the, the dust because it's a very noisy photo. And I could have used the noise function in, you know, there's a bit of noise in, in spots here that I can do in Photoshop or in Lightroom. But you get the idea. I just love that shot. So, uh, and I want to show you another one. So this one, I'm going to, it's just a single raw file. I'm going to go right click, export into the new HDR Aurora 2018. So you can also do HDR. You can use the software just with one photo, which I think is really cool. So in this one, I'm just going to do, uh, I'm going to reset all. I'm not going to use preset. I'm just going to add a bit, you know, of yellow because it was a very sun. I remember I shot this with Matt Kuskowski. Beautiful sunrise in Paris. Uh, this was also years ago with 5D Mark II. That's why it's so noisy and so dirty. The 5D Mark II, I used to have, so, you know, no matter how much I used to clean it, the, the, the dust was like unbelievable. Uh, uh, so I'm just going to do like a very basic retouching, uh, you know, maybe open up the shadows a little bit, bring down a little bit some of the highlights, the whites, you know. So I always do like a basic pass and then I take one more layer because that's the whole purpose of, of this software is layer. And I think on this one, I want to make the, the sky very uh, glowy. So plus there's a lot of noise. So I'm going to take out some of the noise. I'm going to add some radiance. I'm going to add some glow. Where is the glow? Here is the glow. And, uh, you know, to make like a bit of a haze. And then I'm going to paint that only on the sky. You know, all over the sky and here on the water. I want the water to be very glowy because it's very noisy. And, you know, voila. And so you can see before my glowy layer, before the glowy layer, and after. So already we don't see so much. We had a bit of this haze in the morning. And I want to do the opposite with the, the Pont Neuf itself. And if you ever come to Paris, go to the Pont des Arts. That's a wooden bridge I'm sitting on. It's called the Pont des Arts. And, and take this photo. Every morning it's a different show. You, the sun rises behind the Seine River. And if you're lucky that you can see the sun, you get photos like this. It's unbelievable. And it's, that show is almost every morning. I think that's one of the nicest you in Paris. That's one of my favorite, anyway. Okay, so this layer, I'm going to go the opposite. I'm going to use it. Like, let's use a little. I'm going to use photo search local details here. Boom! I can click on here, and that's going to bring out a lot of details. Look how ugly it is on top and the bottom, but it's very nice here. So I'm only going to paint in here, but it's a bit dark. So I'm going to open up the shadows on my local details even more, even maybe boost a bit the exposure. And now I'm just painting that effect only on my bridge okay uh, and voila and um yeah i like that maybe a little too much so i'm going to lower the opacity of that layer and i'm kind of happy with it let me see uh let's do one last adjustment layer i always do like a sort of a last one okay what else could i do maybe add a little bit of magenta because my name is mr magenta uh, maybe boost the highlights a little bit to make it even more glowy uh, bring on the blacks so that we have a bit more contrast maybe a little bit more saturation just a little bit more not too much and I'm happy with it of course I'm gonna have to clean up the photo so uh, let me show you the before before after before after and this is a very old file this is you know I'm gonna apply this and uh, go back to Lightroom I, I forgot to tell you but I shot this what year was this this was 2011. It was March, 18 March 2011. So, you know, it's been over seven years now. 5D Mark II. So many dust, so many. It's funny how the technology of dust removal in the sensor has. I used to spend so much time cleaning up my sensor. So here it is. Uh, first of all, so that I have less work to clean up, I'm going to. I want to make a panel out of this. I'm going to cr crop this and crop that. And then. Uh, so we have a nice pano, and then maybe you know add a bit of contrast because I always do that. And I would clean up a little further more the photo and you know take out all the the dust. But voila, that's Aurora HDR 2018 with revisiting a very old file. Uh, you have until 
48 hours more, I think, until the 20th of September to get this special offer. So if you go to uh, my YouTube video and if you click here, there's a link to order a GR 2019, click here, click on that, you're going to come to a special offer. And that special offer is going to be based on you, based on your country. But here, for example, it's 89 bucks instead of 249, which is a big deal, a big deal. So check it out. Uh, it's out for Windows and Mac. That's the huge deal. It's out for both of them. And it's really the best AGR software out there. I fully recommend it. I fully, fully recommend it. I use it uh, in a lot of my photos. Uh, and I'm actually going to give you uh, this RAW file so you can play around with it and see what, what you think. And yeah, and just create, have fun, go to Paris, do some AGR, take some AGR, wherever on. But get this offer before the 20th of September. Get ORIGR for Windows or Mac.